when I hit a certain age, my eyesight started to go. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because the doctor said to me, he's like, well, I'll be honest with you. He said, you must be 40. And I'm like, ah, hello, I look so much younger. And he said, no, no, I can tell by your eyes. Because by the time you hit 40, what happens is your lens has already been deteriorating since they're like 11 years old. And by that time, you, most people need reading glasses. Jack LaLanne passed away, my dear friend, at 96. He never, let me repeat that, he never wore reading glasses. What, really? Are you Superman? Well, remember that thing about Bugs Bunny and eating all those carrots? Well, Jack consumed a lot of carrots. And I don't know if that's the reason or not, but I'm going to give it up that that's part of the reason. So when we talk about juicing, I'm not talking about fruit juice. I'm not talking about apple juice and pineapple juice, which are mostly sugar. Now, if you do like those juices, I'm going to tell you the best thing you can do is don't do store-bought, but juice it at home. There's two reasons. One, you know what's in it. And two, you save a whole lot of money. Have you been to a juice store? Five, six dollars for an eight-ounce glass of juice. Baloney. You juice at home, it's pennies per serving. <laughs> wait, wait, did I start to sound like an infomercial there? Well, I'm not selling you any particular juicer, but I'm going to tell you the concept of juicing. Now, you might say, but Forbes, there's no fiber in juicing. That's correct. You've taken out the fiber in the bulk. But I'll tell you what, the, the nutrients, the antioxidants, all the vitamins and nutrients get into your system, bam, like that. And what do you put into a juice? You can put carrots. You always put a little something to make it palatable. A little apple, a little grape, a little orange. But make sure your kale is there, or your spinach, or your celery, or your ginger. Oh my gosh. In fact, in the book, there's a couple of juicing recipes. My favorite, no need for reading glasses. That's six carrots. You can't consume six carrots. It's hard to eat that many. But in a juice, you can get the nutrients from six carrots, two stalks of celery, a beet. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Okay, wait, I have, a, I have a silly story to tell you. So I, I do love juicing. I got on kind of a beet craze. See, beets have a thing called nitrous oxide. They're very, very healthy for you. And every once in a while, I'll get a little extreme. I'm in New York City, and I go to the bathroom, and it's all red. And I thought, oh, my God, I'm bleeding. So I called home, and I'm like, I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm bleeding. And the, the voice on the other end of the phone said, you're doing beet juice, right? I'm like, oh, <laughs> That's why it's all red. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So make sure if you do a lot of beet juice, just know some of your habits might change. You're not hurting yourself, but it, it will turn red. <laughs> Here's nothing. If you eat too many asparagus, your breath smells terrible, and so does your pee. Am I getting a little graphic for you? That's okay. Bear with me here. It's a good thing. So... That's my apple juice, my carrot apple juice recipe. You stick an apple, a beet, celery, and carrots. Mm -mm -mm. You want it to be a little zingy? Add a little slice of fresh ginger. Now, if you're somebody who has no idea what ginger is, go to the produce section and look for the absolute ugliest little thing you can find. That's fresh ginger. Slice a little piece of it off. You know what it's great for? Amazing for digestion. Clears up your skin. Great mental attitude. Fresh ginger is one of the all-time most amazing best-kept secrets ever. I encourage you to stick a little slice in your juice and see what happens to you. All right, pineapple pick-me-up. Strawberries, grapes. Now, that one's a little high in sugar. Berry blitz. Blueberries, high in antioxidants. If you can have a handful of blueberries at least every other day, you are feeding your body. And again, if you don't like the blueberries, don't throw them in the pancake. Here's another Jack LaLanne-ism that I live by. Cooking kills. What does that mean? I don't know if you know how food works, but it's full of enzymes. Enzymes work in your digestion. Enzymes work on your cells. When you heat those enzymes to above 112, you kill them. And now you're eating dead food. And as Jack would say, garbage in, garbage out. So try to consume a good portion of your food is raw. And you probably don't have to change a lot of what you're doing. A salad is raw, but when you've got your salad, stick some stuff in there. Stick in the carrots and the cucumbers and a couple of raw walnuts and maybe some fresh cranberries. Um, what else can you stick in there? I don't know, any kind of vegetable. Sliced peppers, red, yellow, green peppers. There's so many choices when you do a salad. And where does the dressing go? In the bottle. <laughs> Just a little taste. Don't overdo it with the dressing. And again, the more you eat raw, the more it feels amazing. Here's another thing you might want to juice. Kind of hard to come by, but a shot of wheatgrass juice. Mm. Again, I took this to a little bit of an extreme. And there's an amazing place, and if you email me, I'll tell you what it is, that I went to. It's still around. Where you go raw for an entire week, and every day they require that you fresh juice wheatgrass juice. Look up the benefits of fresh wheatgrass juice. Oh my gosh, it is spectacular what that does to you. Some people don't like the taste, so my favorite way to do wheatgrass juice is to hold my nose and do one shot back. Tell you what, everything changes. 
Yeah, okay, so here's the deal. I'm 56 years old. Yeah, kind of crazy. People say, wow, you look great. What do you do? Everything that you're doing. And I want, again, I just want to thank you for being part of the course. I can't tell you this in one step. I am so jazzed and so happy and so thankful to the creative You Will Change the World because I get to share this with you. I've known all this. I've spent a whole lifetime creating the principles and the rules and the values that I live by, that I eat by. That's why I look the way I do. That's why my kids look and feel the way they do. And I'm sharing it with you. So the best thing that you can do to say thank you, and I would love you to say thank you, is to do what I'm telling you to do. Little tiny steps. Remember what I said early on in this course? Little steps over time. And you're in a completely different direction. All right? So garbage in, garbage out. The last one, I like this one. This is kind of fun. This is called the Forbes Rally Fizz. So one of the things that Jack and Elaine taught me is that alcohol is very dehydrating. It's very high in sugar. I'm not saying you don't have to have a drink once in a while. Do what you want. But listen to what happens when you do. You dehydrate yourself and you amp up your sugar. So I don't like to feel like a social outcast at a party. So I'll add a little seltzer to my, my fresh strawberry pineapple juice. And it looks like I have a drink. This way nobody bothers me. They don't ask a question. And I look kind of cool. Well, as cool as I can look. But I'll tell you what. It'll save you. Come New Year's. Now when it's drinking and partying and you want to look cool, add a little sparkling water to your juice. You'll look like you're drinking, but you'll keep your figure. You'll stay happy and healthy. And you won't have to make any more resolutions. You know what my annual resolution is? To be as happy, if not happier, than I was last year. I don't need to go on a diet. You know why? Because I am finally fit. <laughs> and so should you be. See you in the next lesson.